Hey guys, it's Paxton again from UWorld's College Prep Team, and we've got a pretty fun concept to work on today. Unit conversions. Now this is one of those concepts that can be tricky on both the SAT and ACT. So let's use our trusty light board to work through some problems. You might see unit conversions on the SAT math or the ACT math and science sections. So this is a super useful skill to master. Now, the level of difficulty or the number of steps that you need to take to get the correct answer may vary. But if you can get the basic steps down, you'll be able to approach those types of questions with confidence. And the best part about unit conversions is that you use them on a daily basis, maybe even without realizing it. So I'm going to walk you through a few of those daily examples. So in the United States, our speed limits are posted in miles per hour. However, you go most other places and they're not. They're in typically kilometers per hour. And so to be able to figure out how fast you're driving in miles per hour, while the posted speed limit is kilometers per hour, you just use unit conversions. So let's walk through an example. Say you're going to visit Canada and you want to know how fast you're supposed to travel if the speed limit is 80 kilometers per hour. So this is the posted speed limit in Canada. And we know that one mile is approximately equal to 1.6 kilometers. Okay, so that's the background information we know. So on the SAT, they will give you necessary conversions such as miles to kilometers, but there are some basic unit conversions that you need to know to approach the test, such as time, 60 seconds in a one minute. So just keep that in mind as we're going through. So the first step that you wanna take when you're approaching unit conversion problems is figure out the units that you have and the units that you want. So in this case, we have 80 kilometers per hour. So the units that we have are kilometers per hour. I'm just gonna shorten that to km per hour. And the units that we want are miles per hour. So we're going from kilometers per hour to miles per hour. So we'll start with our 80 kilometers per hour. Eighty kilometers per one hour. And then, anytime you're converting units, you want to multiply by what's called a conversion factor. And what that conversion factor does is cancel out the units you don't want and multiplies it by the units that you do want. Okay, so let's walk through that. So we want to multiply by a conversion factor. A conversion factor that has kilometers in the denominator in order to cancel out kilometers. So we know we want kilometers in the denominator. And then we're going to miles in the numerator. So we want miles up here. And we know that one mile is approximately equal to 1.6 kilometers. So we just fill that information into our factor. So 1.6 kilometers is the same as one mile. And there we go. Now we can multiply across. And remember, our kilometers here in this numerator cancel out with the kilometers in the denominator here. So as we're multiplying across, we have 80 times one, which is just 80. And we have the units of miles. 80 times one mile is 80 miles. And then in the denominator, we have one hour times 1.6, which is just 1.6 hours. Now, this doesn't really help us, so let's go ahead and type it into our calculator to get 50 miles per hour. So now you know that when you're driving in a country that has a posted speed limit of 80 kilometers per hour, you're really driving at an equivalent speed of 50 miles per hour. 
I hope this has been helpful information. If it has, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And remember, your dream school requires a dream score, so keep studying and prepping with UWorld. Your hard work is going to pay off. See you next time.